हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल दीक्षा कर्नाटक आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग गुड यस हाउ वाज़ द केपीएल फोर हाउ डिड यू डू इन अ वीकली मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज नंबर फोर व्हाट वॉज द चैप्टर ऑफ डिस्कशन चैप्टर वाज कंटिन्यूटी एंड डिफ्रेंशिबिलिटी विथ ए राइट सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू अटेम्प्टेड द इंटायर क्वेश्चन ऑल थर्टी क्वेश्चन आई थिंक फर्स्ट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑन कंटिन्यूटी एंड डिफ्रेंसिबिलिटी एंड द लास्ट टेन क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑन ए ओके बस सिमिलर चैप्टर राइट बिकॉज इफ इन ए इज वॉट एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरेवेटिव सो आई होप यू हैव यू नो सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चन there were some good questions in this okay the, this difficulty level of this paper will be little bit you know uh, higher and again i think most of the questions were or all of the questions were from pu pyq section only so how to grade yourself if you so i'm going to start the solution session now if you get a answer right give yourself one mark if you have not attempted a question uh, then what are you going to do uh, uh, give zero for that if you got it wrong give yourself again zero for that particular question okay so with that note Uh, take your pen and paper out. Whatever, wherever, wherever you've solved the answers, keep it with you, and let's start with the solution. So, first question is coming up. Is what? So, question number one. If oh, so this was very simple, right? This was very very simple. If cos x equals to x cos x, okay. If cos y equals to x cos of a plus y, find uh, okay with cos of a uh, not equal to plus minus one, then divide by dx is equal to okay. So, how will I solve this? Tell me. So, I can take this cos of A plus y in the denominator over here. What I'm gonna get, bichcha? Please check. I'll get here cos of y upon cos of a plus y equals to x. Yes, equals to x. Now, if you differentiate this, I have to use what? I have to use the quotient rule here. I have to use the quotient rule here. So, if I do that, I'm gonna get for the numerator. First, I'll do for the numerator. So, it'll become what? Minus sine y. Minus sine y, okay, and keep this as it is. Cos of a plus y, as it is, okay. Next, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take here a. I'm gonna take here a, a minus sine, okay, again, and I'll keep cos y as it is. Cos y as it is, and I'll differentiate cos of a plus y will become what? Again, minus sine of a plus y, okay, and for y I'll get what? Simply d by by dx, right? I'll get what? Both of the places I'll get what d by by dx. Okay, so let me just uh, I'll write it at the end. I can write it like this. I'll get what d by by dx. Okay, this is equal to what, bacha? Equals to one, sir. How, sir? Check here. X will be one, and the variable uh, y will be what in the chain rule d by by dx. So at both the places over here also I missed it. Over here also I'll have what d by by dx. Over here also I'll have d by by dx, right? Because I have to apply the chain rule for a plus y also. Great. Now, if you see here, if you see here, what I'm going to get? So uh, I want the value of d by by dx, right? I want the value of d by by dx. Let me rearrange it on this side first. Okay. Acha, divide this whole thing. Divide by. Uh, I have to square the denominator. Quotient rule, right? So cos cos square of a plus by cos square of a plus by. Okay. So uh, let's do one thing. I will take this on the other side. I'll get what? D by by dx equals to cos square of A plus y upon. Please check. This will be plus, bacha. This and this will become. Uh, this will be minus, and this will be plus. So I'll write the plus term first. So what I'm doing here is, over here on the left side, I have this ex expression in the uh, fraction. On the RHS, I have one. Okay. So I'm taking this whole LHS, this part of the fraction on the RHS. So how will that work out? If you remember, this will go in the numerator, and this will come in the denominator. Yes. So I've taken numerator as cos square of a plus y, and what will be my denominator? So this big bracket, in that I have a positive sign here. Please check minus and minus. So we'll become plus. I'll write that term first. What is that term? Cos of y sine of a plus y sine of a plus y. Okay. What next? What next? Over here, please check. This is a minus sign here. So I can write this as uh, again a uh, cos of a plus y a plus y times sine of Times sine of y. Okay. Now please check. Is this making a formula? Sine a cos b, uh, si uh, cos a sine b. Please check. Sine a. If I write like this, bacha. Sine a uh, cos b, cos a sine b. How much is that? Sine of a minus b. What is this? Sine of a minus b. So I'll have what? If I continue, if I continue this over here, I have a space here. So let me just uh, show you on this side. d by by dx d by by dx would be what cos square a plus y will remain as it is cos square of 
a plus y will remain as it is and divided by please check it will become what sin of a plus y minus sin of a not capital a small a is there okay so sin of a plus y minus what is that y right minus y right please check okay so minus y okay yes what i get the answer as simply very simple cos square of a plus y upon sin a upon sin a any option any option is right so option number uh, b option number b is right so please award yourself one mark for this option number b okay moving on yes so uh, this is done question number 2 if fx equals to mod of cos x minus sin x then find the derivative of derivative of a uh, function at pi by 6 okay now know this pi by 6 both okay what will this be value well, tell me it will remain as it is okay because cos will be positive only and sin will be what positive please understand this cos of pi by 6 check the value please cos pi by 6 is how much bachcha root 3 by 2 and what is this value sin x 1 by 2 which is bigger positive only this value is positive so i can open this bracket fx i can open this bracket fx since this value is positive i can open with a plus sign i'll get it as cos x minus sin x what i want to find out derivative find it please find the derivative i'll get what minus sin x okay minus cos x am i right minus sin x minus cos x put the values of minus sin x cos x at what pi by 6 so f dash of pi by 6 will look like this minus sin pi by 6 Minus cos pi by six. I can take the minus sign common. Sine pi by six is how much? Sine thirty. How much is that? Okay. Plus cos pi by six is how much? Again, root three by two. Take one by two common. I get what? One plus root three. Any option like this? Option number A only is right. Option number A. Question number two is also done. Very simple, very very simple. Okay, now moving on. They gave and they asked this question in twenty eighteen. I think this is a very simple question. Okay, I think if you if you have got this answer, I think answer is D. Answer should be D. If you don't need a solution, very good. But I will solve it anyway. If any of you has this doubt, so I can write this question as. Think here. Think about this. If I have x added with the root form up to infinite number of terms, okay. And that is equal to my another variable y, another variable y. It means that I can again. So if I remove one of the x from here, if I remove one of the x from here, what is left? Right now I have infinite x's. I have infinite x's. Now from here, if I take out one of the x, how many x is left? Again infinite only. So I can rewrite this term as y equals to root of x plus y or not. See this. This whole thing. If 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 I did not have this first root. What does this mean? Same thing, no? Same thing. Y only. So like that. Square it up. Y square equals to what? X plus y. Please check derivative. Okay. How much you'll get? You'll get two uh, y dy by dx plus one uh, plus dy by dx plus one dy by dx. Now please check here. Bring this dy by dx on this side. What are you going to get? Two y. dy by dx minus dy by dx yes or no i'll bring this over here what i'm going to get equal to equal to 1 now take dy by dx common please what i have 2y minus 1 if you take this on the side it will become 1 upon 2y minus 1 if you if you take this on the side that's the value of dy by dx take it on the side 1 upon 2y minus 1 moving on to the next question okay uh simple one right Our answer is d चलिए आगे बढ़ते हैं इफ एफ एक्स इक्वल्स टू लॉग ऑफ ई एक्स ओके फाइन दिवन एज कंटिन्यूस फंक्शन इज गिवन कंटिन्यूस वेन कैन एस एंक्शन इज कंटिन्यूस सर इफ एल वन इक्वल्स टू एल टू वट इज एल वन एल टू एक्सक्यूज मी लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट एंड राइट हैंड लिमिट दिस इज माई लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट राइट हैंड लिमिट इफ दे आर इक्वल टू चदर वॉट इट मीन्स इट मीन्स द लिमिट एक्जिस्ट ओके इज इक्वल टू द फंक्शन वैल्यू एट ए और द सेम पॉइंट At this point a, then I can say what the function is continuous. Okay, so I have function value as what? Check please check here. My function's value f value 
एट द वैल्यू ए ओके इज हाउ मच वन इज हाउ मच सिंपली के देव गिवन हेयर बच्चा एक्स इक्वल टू वन इज के आई हेव टेकन दैट सो सम हाउ इफ आई कैन फाइंड द लिमिट ऑफ दिस कंडीशन ओके देन आई विल गेट वॉट आई कैन इक्वेट दम एंड गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ के फ्रॉम देर लिमिट वॉट सो प्लीज चेक यर सर फॉर एल वन वॉट आई नीड इज एक्स लेस देन वन एक्स नॉट इक्वल टू वन मीन्स वॉट एक्स लेस देन वन एंड एक्स ग्रेटर देन वन बोथ कंडीशन आज हिडन हेयर ओनली नॉट इक्वल टू वन मीन्स बिफोर एंड आफ्टर बोथ अपलाइज इन दिस हैव टू यूज दिस पार्ट ऑफ द फंक्शन ओके चलिए सो आई आई डोट टू यूज एल वन एल टू आई कैन फाइंड डायरेक्टली लिमिट राइट बिकॉज आई नो द लिमिट एक्जिस्ट आई नो द लिमिट एक्जिस्ट सो आई कैन फाइंड द लिमिट वैल्यू ओनली डोट फाइंड एल वन एल टू सिंपली फाइंड द लिमिट ऑफ द एंटायर फंक्शन सो वट इज गोइंग टू बी प्लीज चेक आई कैन राइट दिस एज लॉग ई पार एक्स इज देर इट बिकम वॉट एल एन एक्स ओनली नो सो एल एन एक्स अपॉन x minus one, when x tends to what one. If you remember this, what is this answer? This is standard limit, bacha. Simply as one. Okay. There is another form. If you have x plus one in the numerator and x in the denominator, will become again one when x tends to zero. Two formulas are there, right? So for this one, this is standard limit. Is one. Okay. If this is one, then what happens? Simply k equals to one. Because this limit is equal to the function value, so k equal to one. Okay. This is nothing but equal to function's value at one. Okay, so in this question you don't have to apply or write anything. Just look at this. I just wrote because you know wanted to sh uh, show you. Limit of this is one equal to k. So k equal to one. Option number B is correct. Option number B is correct. I hope this is visible. Moving on. Question number five, sir. Okay, now sine inverse of two power x plus one upon one plus four power x. Okay, find the derivative at zero. Find the derivative at zero. So first you have to find the derivative. Let's quickly see this. How will we find the derivative? Okay. Uh, so I will just check this uh, bracket. I think I have solved this question in the regular class also. This came in 2019. Please check. One plus four power x. Yes, four power x. How will I solve this? So I can see here plus one means what? Plus one means exponent. Plus one means what? I can rewrite this as two power x times of two or not. Correct, na? Power one means what? Another another two is there. So uh, plus two I wrote into two I wrote. Same thing I can write here. One plus two square. The power x, this will transform into two the two times of two power x. Okay, please see here, and this will become what? One plus two power x the whole square. So here the first the power was two, then x was there. I brought x in and brought and took two out. I brought x in and took two out. Now check here. So if I take this two power x as tan theta, why sir? Because there's a formula which I hear, no, for sine two theta. Why sine two theta, sir? Because I have sine inverse here. Sine inverse will operate on sine only, right? So I have to transform into something in terms of sine. So if I take this as two x equals to tan theta, what is my? Tell me what is my tan inverse? What is my theta? Theta is tan inverse of two x. Sir, why do we need this? We'll see this. We will actually need it not right now, but in the problem later. Okay. So now if you rearrange this in terms of the first statement, this is our assumption. Okay. So this is let. If I write this, what I'm going to get? Two. Tan theta upon one plus tan square theta or not? Yes, right. Please check. Two power x is tan theta, so this expression will be true. Now this is equal to what? Sine two theta. How, sir? Formula is there. Two tan theta upon one plus tan square theta is sine two theta. Okay, very simple. Now take this. F of x. F of x is equal to what, bacha? Sine inverse of that big bracket. This big bracket. I started from here and got sine two theta. I can write simply as sine two theta. How much is this, sir? Two theta. What is this? Sine inverse of sine is simply the x. So two theta. Okay. So my function now that I have is y or f x equals to what? You write it as f x only because they have asked in terms of f of zero. So f of x will be what, bacha? Simply two theta. Yes or no? Yes. So what is theta value? Please check here. Theta value is tan inverse of 2x. That's why I said we will require in the questions in the coming uh, steps. Sine inverse of 2x. So write it tan inverse of 2x. So my this equals to two times of tan inverse of 2x. This is what, bacha? My f of x. I want to find what derivative. So f dash of x will become what? Tell me. Two will be as it is. Two will be as it is. This will become what? One upon one upon. It's not 2x actually. It's 2 power x. Please forgive me. It's two power x, sir. It'll become what? One upon one plus 
2 power x the whole square I have to uh, differentiate with chain rule also 2 power x 2 power x will be 2 power x okay and ln 2 ln 2 yes or no yes sir okay now so what is my answer please check here so far I am getting uh, 2 times of uh, what is it 2 power x ln 2 upon 1 plus uh, 4x how sir 2 power x square I can bring this 2 inside it will become 2 square x outside so 4x I am asking to find what find this f of, of f derivative at 0 find f derivative at 0 please check f derivative at 0 now if f derivative of at 0 I am finding out ok yes please check so it will become 2 2 ok 2 power 0 right 2 power 0 this will be what simply ln 2 because a variable right what will this be 1 plus 4 power 0 please check 2 power 0 is simply what 1 so I do not have to write that ln 2 and what is this 1 4 power 0 is what again 1 so what is this 2 ln 2 upon 2 2 2 goes out what is the answer answer is ln 2 or log 2 ok log 2 option C please have a look I will show you over here also how this is visible ok moving on to question number 6 ok chaliye uh, if a equals x square theta y, and y equals trans square theta find second derivative they have given this and this which form is this parametric form sir ok so what how can we find this so forget about second derivative right now how will I find first derivative tell me that part first so think about that part first so dy by dx will be what which tell me it will be dy by d theta upon dx by d theta yes I have to use the parametric form condition so if I do that let me find the dy by d theta first what is that going to be tell me here so I will take a constant so a is outside differentiation of tan square theta is what first 2 tan theta check here for tan square is what 2 tan theta times what times sec square theta how sir first I took the differentiation of 2 tan square so it become 2 times of tan theta for tan theta I will get what sec square theta so this is again true check for dx by d theta very simple question asked in 2019 okay very very simple again a is common I will write what 2 sec theta okay and what is the differentiation of sec theta chain rule I am applying chain rule for two sec, for first I did for sec square theta 2 sec theta what about sec theta I get it as sec theta times tan theta yes or no yes sir ok please check here I get what 2 so a times 2 basically ok 2a I can write it as 2a uh, again tan theta and sec square theta I will write these values over there please have a look so my dy by dx will be nothing but will be nothing but first thing d by by d theta so how much is that 2a tan theta sec square theta yes yes check here from here 2a tan square tan theta check match from here ok next I will do what dx by d theta next I will do what dx by d theta so please from check here from here 2a tan theta sec square theta yes so write it here and they equal what is the answer 1 now tell me tell me one thing if my derivative number 1 is a constant it implies what second derivative will be 0 right if you how will you differentiate constant you will get what 0 only no answer is what B. again simple question very very simple problem asked in 2019 I hope all of you got it right I hope all of you got it right ok now we have to apply some concept of limit in this for this particular question again why continuous at the given point x equals to 0 ok continuity means what the limit value the limit value either it is as a limit or l1 h1 so l1 l2 equals to what the functions value at 0 when limit tends to the limit x tends to 0 is equal to function value at 0 so function value at 0 is how much tell me here so f of 0 is given as k minus 2 this is so simple right 
f of 0 is simply given as k minus 2. So, no problem. We have to find the limit only. So, let us find the limit. Let us find the limit. Limit of the function when x is tending to 0 is given by sin 3x upon e power 2x minus 1. Okay. Now, you know one thing. We have standard form for limits, right? Okay. I have for sin x also I have sin x by x. Please recall this. I have this condition. Sin limit x tends to 0 for sin ax by ax is what? 1. Also, I have limit x tends to 0 for e power ax minus 1 upon uh, ax is what? Again, 1. I have to use those two conditions. Okay. This is nothing but e power ax, e power ax. Just writing these formulas. If you have, if somebody has, uh, is not able to recall this, e power ax, this also is ax. So, in this case, if you see, for the sign, we have 3 as a, we have 3 as a and for e, we have 2x as a. So, how will I transform this? Please have a look. I write it as sin 3x upon 3x. Again, the limit will be there. So, the limit x tends to 0 will be there. Okay. This is limit is there. Okay. Now, one thing is done. I am adding something extra. I have to do what? Multiply the same thing over here. Yes or no? I cannot just uh, put anything, right? Any any addition in the question. So I am multiply dividing by 3x. I have to multiply by 3x. This part is done. Now please check. I have to do the same thing for e power 2x. What I'm going to do? I let e power 2x over here. 2x uh, minus 1. What I have to do? Divided by 2x. Divided by 2x. Now think about it. This is 1, okay? Because this is in nom denominator, no? So, I am writing this as e power 2x minus 2x. I am dividing here by 2. It means I have to multiply over here by 2x. Okay. That means the same thing as, that means the same thing as, so multiply with the help, with this what? This thing only, 2x. This is a multiplication only, no? This whole thing is a multiplication only. Okay. So, please check now. So, limit, limit of this part will be 1 and this part will also be 1. So, how? I can apply limits in denominator also, right? For limit for 1 is nothing, 1 only, right? So, I can write it as 1 times of 3x by 2x times of 1 upon 1, okay? From those rules. What I get? I get x and x cancelled. What I have left? 3 by 2. So, my limit value for the function fx, okay? When x tends to 0 is how much? 3 by 2. How much is this? 3 by 2, okay? This would be equal to what? k minus 2. So, my limit should be limit of the function fx should be equal to what? k minus 2. Okay. How much is this? 3 by 2 k minus 2. So, k will be what? 2 plus 3 by 2. How much is this? 1.5 plus 2, 3.5, right? How much is that? 7.5, sorry, 3.5 means 7 by 2. 7 by 2. Any option like this? Please check. B. So, in the actual exam, uh, there was a wrong option. Okay. So, I just changed it to be 7 by 2, 2019. The question has been asked. Okay. So, uh, have a look. Please have a look. Moving on. Yes. Question number 8. Same question. Again, the continuity has been discussed, asked in 2020. So, you can see the question uh, like this is repeating every year. 18 also, 19 also, 20 also. Okay. Please have a look here. Means you can expect a question on continuity where the branching will be given for the function. Okay. Smartly to know all the limit conditions. So that's why limit has to be revised. Properly you have to revise. That's why when I started this chapter, I revised the limits for you. Okay. That's the reason uh, I did that. Even though it is a PU1 portion and we are doing what? PU2 portions right now. Okay. So uh, continuous at x equal to 0. Again, same thing will be there. Limit for the function fx when x tends to 0 should be equal to what? f of 0. No problem, sir. So, f of 0 is what? Simply it is given in this case. f of 0 is, sir, 1 by 2. This was simply 1 by 2. Okay. Now, what is my limit? Please check here. My limit is going to be, I have to use something different here. Cos kx upon x sin x. Okay. Limit x tends to 0. Please check here. If I substitute right now, it will become what? Uh, 1 minus 1 because cos 0 will be what? 1. So, 1 minus 1 will be 0 and there will be 0 because 0 by 0 is un, uh, you know undefined. So, whenever this kind of condition is there and we are not able to find it, what we use? Simplify this with the help of LH rule. We can use what? LH rule. 
So you can use L hospital rule to solve this question from here onwards. So I will use it. What we do in LH rule? We differentiate in the limits. We differentiate in the limits. So let's check here. If I differentiate what I am going to get. So if I do this, I will get what? Limit x tends to 0. x tends to 0. And I get what, Bacha? Tell me. I will get, uh, for I have to do for numerator first. I have to do for numerator first. I will get what? Uh, 0 minus, this will become what? Plus actually, sin of kx. Please check here. I am doing for numerator first. So, it will be what? This will, 1 will be 0. Minus will become, uh, cos will be what? Minus sin x. So, this minus will be, and this minus will be, make, make positive. Cos differentiation is minus sin kx. So, this minus and this minus will be positive. So, uh, plus sin kx. This is okay. And what about kx? Simply k. Simply k. This part is done. I have to multiply this with. Multiply this with x sin x. Multiply this with x sin x. Okay. I have to keep this as it is. Now what next what? I take a negative sign. Take a negative sign. This is over, right? This is over. Okay. Now next I am going to keep this as it is. 1 minus cos kx as it is. And what do you want to do? What I have to do? I have to differentiate this part, x sin x. What I am going to get? I have to do for x again. So uh, it will be what? 1 sin x. And what will be next type? I will have x as it is. So plus x cos x plus x cos x, whole thing divided by, whole thing divided by what, bacha? x sin x, okay, x sin x, alright. So, question number 8, if fx equals to 1 minus cos kx, x sin x, okay, okay, fine, again this question is on continuous, okay, uh, function is given continuous at x equal to 0, when can I say continuous, when limit, when limit of the function fx is equal to what, is equal to f of 0, and how much is f of 0? Simply please check here. 1 by 2. How much is this? 1 by 2. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now one more thing. You can see the trend here. Similar type of question is asked, you know, back to back every year. 2020. Okay. So you can expect this kind of question in this year as well. Okay. So uh, one more thing. One more thing. How will I find this limit now? Look at this. Is this, a, is this a indeterminate form? Is this an indeterminate form? Yes, it is, sir. 1 minus cos 0. Is cos 0 is what? 1. So 1 minus 1 will be 0. And this is simply 0. So, 0 by 0 is yes, indeterminate form. So, I have to use something else. Please check. I will use a. So, I will write the limit form first. Limit of 1 minus cos kx upon x sin x, x sin x, where x tends toward which 0. So, yes, it is an indeterminate form. So, if I take, right now I am not able to see any, any uh, this thing, but if I take LH rule over here, this will become very, very simple. You will see how. So, uh, if you understand this, I have to make sure that everything is in terms of cos because sin 0 will be what? 0. So, I have to simplify in that way to that reach sin in terms of sin. So, if, if you see here, cos if I make again sin will become what? It will what? It will become, if I differentiate it will become sin again. So, I have to do it maybe twice. We will see now. So, what do you do? By LH rule. What is LH rule? L hospital rule. We have to use that. Let's check here. I can, what, what does the rule tells us? We can differentiate the terms individually in what? In this condition. So, if I do that in the, under the limits. So, right, limit x tends to 0. So, find the derivative of the terms. The answer will be same. So, if you do that, what are going to get? 0, 0. This will be what? Plus, because cos will be what? Minus. There is a minus sign. So, plus sin kx times what? k. Because I have to use the chain rule for kx. So, this will be simply k. How much I will have? I have to use the product rule over here. We will get what? We will get what? 1 times of sin x plus simply what? Uh, what? x cos x, right? Please check here. I did for x, so I got 1 sin x as it is. I kept x as it is. For sin x, I get cos x. Okay. Now, if you use, if you use, not the equal to sign, if you use the limit sign, put here x equal to 0. Again, it will be 0 only. Again, it will be 0 only. So, I will write this again over statement over here, please check, I have a k sin x, k sin kx actually, upon sin x plus x cos x, am I right? Please check, sin x, this is 1 times of sin x, so sin x plus x cos x, okay. Now, I will do this again by LH rule, I will do it once again, why not sir? Because it will become again 0 sir, for that reason, okay, it will be 0. So, this is 0, this is going to be 0, 0, 0, again indeterminate form. 
differentiate it now. If you get do that, you're gonna get k square, k square because why, sir? Check here. Sin kx will give me what? Simply cos kx. But if I, if I differentiate kx again, I'll get what another k. So k and k will make k square upon upon what? So simply cos x for this first term, and over here I'll get what? X will be let's say x I did for cos x, then cos will remain as it is, and then I'll keep x as it is, and then it will be minus sin x. I use the product rule here. Okay, product rule over here. Now apply the limits. Now if you apply the limits here, what are you going to get? k square will be as it is cos of 0, cos of 0, why sir, x is 0, no? so cos of 0, again over here also, cos of 0 for x, over here also, cos of what, 0 only, right, cos of 0 only, again, what is this, simply 0, minus, because x is 0, right, so 0, what I get here, please tell me, k square upon 1 plus 1, how much is that, k square upon 2, k square upon this is my limit value. Now, what did we have? If you remember, we had the function value at 0 was 1 by 2. So, if I write it like this, I'll get what? I get this k square by 2 is equal to what? 1 by 2. Okay. So, k square equal to what? Simply 1, k equals to what? Plus minus 1. Okay. Plus minus 1. Answer is C. Okay. Simple enough. Very, very simple, okay. We had to use the LH rule two times here to get the result as k equal to plus minus 1. I hope this is visible, okay. Moving on, okay. Question number 9. If fx equals to sin inverse of uh, 2x plus 1 plus x square, find the f derivative of root 3, okay. This is again the same thing. I can write here directly I used in the previous question. So, I write it as, if I do it over here, I write it as my f of x equals to sin inverse of what? If I take x as tan theta, if I take x as tan theta, I'm going to get this as sin 2 theta or not. How, sir? Hope you remember this. This will become what? This will become 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. Same thing I'm using here. After you use this substitution. Okay. So, I'm going to get what? Simply 2 theta as fx. Okay. Now, do one thing. Put the value of theta from here. What is theta now? Theta is tan inverse of x sir, yes or no, take tan over here, tan inverse of x, okay, now uh, this will become what, f of x equals to 2 times of tan inverse of x, yes or no, yes, so now differentiate it, f dash of x will be what, bacha? 2 times of 1 upon 1 plus x square, tan inverse of x differentiation is 1 plus x square in the, in the denominator, 2 times of 1 upon 1 plus, am I asked to find what, derivative at root 3, Okay, become what? 3. Root 3 square is what? 3 only. So, what is my answer? 2 upon 4, answer is 1 by 2. Option number A. Please have a look. Option number A, 1 by 2. Question number 10. Okay, this is very simple, right? This is very, very simple question. Not much was there. Okay, simply uh, after substitution, it became 2 tan theta, 2 tan inverse of x. Differentiation is one, 2 times of 1 upon x square and substituted the value of root 3 because that's what they are asking. Put it here, get the answer as 1 by 2, option number A. Moving on, okay. 2 power x plus 2 power y asked in 2020. That's a good question actually, okay. You will see this. So, uh, I can transform this like this. Let me try. Yes, we can transform something over here. 2 power x plus 2 power y equals to 2 power x plus y. Yes or no? Yes. Now, bring this whole thing over here. You will get what? 2 power x plus 2 power y upon 2 power x plus y equal to 1. Why like this? Uh, because if I differentiate now, no, I am, they are asking us to find dy by dx. If I differentiate now, okay, it will become 0. So, I will have some result. No, one thing will be simplified there. Okay. Now, if you check here, I can differentiate this 2 power x upon 2 power x plus y plus 2 power y upon 2 power x plus y equals to 1. Am I right? Yes, what will this be? 2 power minus y. Please check. If I take this same base in exponent, okay. So, I can take this x minus 2 power x minus x minus y, right. So, x and x will cancel. So, 2 power minus y. Same way over here, what I will have? 2 power minus x equals to 1. Now, now you differentiate. What I will get? 2 power minus y 
टाइम्स ऑफ माइनस डी बाई बाई डी एक्स ओवर हियर प्लस टू पार माइनस एक्स टाइम्स ऑफ वॉट टाइम्स ऑफ सिंपली आई विल गेट वॉट आई विल गेट सिंपली वॉट एल एस बी एल बी एल बी माइनस माइनस वॉट माइनस वन माइनस वन राइट एंड बोथ प्लेसेज आई हैव वॉट लॉक टू लॉक टू Not confusing, yes. A par x differentiation is simply a par x ln a, right? So I will have both over here also, ln two and ln two. I have taken both outside. I have taken both outside. No problem there. Okay, ln two outside. Okay. Now I can move this on this side of the zero. I'll get the answer as zero only because it's a constant term. Log two is constant term. I can move on this side. It'll be zero by something will be zero only. So what I get now, please check. So if I see this, I'll get what? Okay, I'll solve it over here only. Please check what I'm gonna do. So I'll get what two power minus y is there. Okay, so I'll get what uh, I need this term. I need the value of d by by dx. So I'll bring everything on the other side. I'll get what uh, d by by dx is equals to what? This will become a minus. So will become over there positive. Please see here. Please have a look. Please check. This is what minus of one becomes goes there becomes positive of two. Okay, now. This is in the multiplication now, right? Multiplication goes here and comes as division, sir. Comes as division. So minus two power minus y. Okay, please see. I'll explain again. Log two is a constant. Why log two? Because if I if you differentiate a par x, you'll get as a par x ln a. So log two is a constant. If you take this log two over here, zero by log two will be zero only. That's why log two can be cancelled. Okay, or can be removed from the expression. Now I want to find d by by dx value. I took this two power x. Two power minus x with the minus sign on the right hand side. Okay, this becomes what? My, uh, sorry, plus of two power minus x. Okay. Now this part, this part two power minus y with this minus sign is what? In the multiplication comes here becomes division. So minus two times of two minus two power uh, minus y minus two power minus y. So if I take this now up, what is the change here? Please check. So I can take this minus sign in the numerator only. Yes. Same base. Power in the you know exponent rule we can apply minus x minus of minus y, right? We can apply the quotient rule of the exponent. Okay, base in the division exponents are subtracted. So minus x minus of minus y. How much I have? Two power. I have plus y and minus x. Please have a look. I have minus two power plus y minus x. Any option like this? Okay, option number A only. Option number. A is correct, sir. Please have a look. I will. I hope this is visible. Please have a look. This is my final answer. Okay. Yes. Moving on. Eleventh uh, problem. If x e power y equals to e power x, then dy by dx is what? Okay. We have learned this. Whenever you have you know power, multiplication, sorry, product and quotient, apply log blindly. Apply the log blindly, sir. Let's apply it. If I apply this log, what gonna what I'm gonna get? So if I do that, I'll get what log of on the both side I'll apply for this given function log of x e the whole power x equals to log of e power x yes or no log of e power x and again this is all with the same base right e and e only okay e and e only all right so what I'm gonna get uh, I can simplify this I'll get as x l n x e correct because this will come in front it will become coefficient the power in the log becomes coefficient okay so comes as x ln x equals to again this will also come in front x ln e yes i'm writing as ln now so i get as get it as x of ln now a plus b is there so see a into b is there log of a into b i write it as ln x plus ln e Simply x y sir because ln e is what one ln of e is what one because log with log of e with the base e is what always one okay so one so I can simplify this as x times of ln x okay ln x okay this is not x this is y I am writing it as x all the time I don't know why this is not x bacha that's what I thought there is no variable y only okay 
this is y okay the power is y please have a look the power is y so this will be y y y okay again what is ln e plus 1 equals to x okay so i'll keep y over here and bring everything on the other side i'll get y equals to x upon 1 plus ln x now they ask you to find the differentiation of this okay finding the differentiation of this i hope you can get this from here okay i think the answer should be oh these two options are same okay some mistake some mistake i think in the typings end so we'll see whatever the answer we are getting we'll write this some mistake in the uh, writing part of the answers okay the steps are the same actually let's do the differentiation of this y equals to x upon 1 plus ln x yes 1 plus ln x i'll use what quotient rule so y equals to i'll keep x i'll do for differentiation for x so i'll get it as 1 times of i'll write this as it is 1 plus ln x i'll put a minus sign i'll put a minus sign okay what i'm gonna get please check i'll get what i'll keep x as it is i'll do for 1 plus ln x so 0 plus 1 by x yes whole thing divided by 1 plus ln x the whole square what is my answer what is my answer 1 plus ln x minus multiply this x and x will cancel each other so minus 1 upon 1 plus ln x the whole square what is my answer simply ln x upon 1 plus ln x the whole square this is my y derivative okay my y derivative okay this is visible right this is visible right yes have a look so uh, yes i think one of them should be a negative so i'll keep this as negative my answer will be b answer is b and then x upon 1 plus log x the whole square okay this is my final answer so look at the answer no ln x upon 1 plus log, log x of 4x log x the whole square i think while typing i missed that minus sign forgive me for that okay i think i missed the minus sign okay Chali. uh this question if y equal to 12th number 2 power 2 times of x power n plus 1 plus 3 power uh, 3 upon x power n find this value find this value so i have to find the second derivative first then multiply that to x square okay so let me write the y first so i'll write y as if i'm doing let's say derivative directly y dash how will i do it so okay let me just make one transformation it'll be easier for fewer students to understand two times of x to the power n plus one and this will be plus three times of x to the power minus n so x power n in denominator can be written as x power minus n okay x power n in denominator can be written as x power minus n okay differentiate this i'll get what 2 is a constant i'll bring what n plus 1 in the front x power n plus 1 minus 1 okay right this is x okay this is x n plus 1 minus 1 what i'm going to get over here 3 times of minus n minus n okay what will this be x power minus n minus 1 correct now uh, if i simplify this if i simplify this over here only okay okay let me find the derivative directly okay let me find the derivative directly so i get double dash like this as please check 2 is as it is i'll take what n plus 1 also a constant now what is this please tell me this is going to be simply n right was 1 minus 1 is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 so if i differentiate this what i'm going to get simply n over here and this will write it as x power how much is this n minus 1 please check please check okay no problem we can take our time how much is this bacha how much is this value this is n no n plus 1 minus 1 is what n only right if i differentiate again i'll take this n over here okay this is my second differentiation i hope you understand this and i'll what take minus 1 on the power of the x x power n minus 1 now going forward here this minus will make what this 3 as minus 3 so minus 3 times of n okay now again what look at here i'll take this minus n minus 1 minus n minus 1 in this place okay because i'm doing the differentiation again second derivative i'm doing second derivative i'm doing now multiply this with what x to the power minus n minus 1 and minus 1 because this was already there these two i have to take another minus 1 so minus n minus 1 minus 1 okay now if i simplify this if i simplify this please have a look please have a look i'll get y double dash as please check 2 times of n plus 1 times n 
okay and this will as it is x power n minus 1 okay now this is, please check here i can take minus n common from here minus n minus 1 and this minus will become plus please have a look minus n minus 1 taking minus common putting with this minus plus 3 times of n times of n plus 1 how much is this bacha x power minus n minus 2 this is my answer the derivative they are asking us to multiply with x square multiply this with x square so what will this become please check y double derivative if multiplied with x square i will have what i will multiply x square over here i will multiply x square over here so this will be constant i can keep as it is so 2 n n plus 1 as it is now check here x power n minus 1 is there multiplying with x power 2 x power 2 multiplied with x power n minus 1 what are you going to do add the exponents 2 plus n minus 1 how much is that x power n plus 1 yes or no x power n minus 1 multiplied with x square i get what x power n plus 1 write it here x to the power n plus 1 first part is done this part is done now what i'm going to do what i'm going to do now plus plus i write 3 as it is 3 n into n plus 1 i'll write it as it is 3 times of n n plus 1 as it is okay no problem now what is this please check here x to the power minus n minus 2 x to the power minus n minus 2 i can do it over here x power minus n minus 2 multiplied with x square what are you going to do add the exponent so x to the power minus n minus 2 plus 2 how much is that x power minus n okay i am multiplying x square to entire term right so i will multiply over here also x square i multiplied i will add the 2 i will cancel this and this i get what x power minus n only so please check okay is something common is something common please check okay yes sir i can take n times of n plus 1 common i can take i can take what the cha n times of n plus 1 common okay what is left now in the bracket tell me first one i have simply 2 and x power n left 2 times of x power n plus 1 left i took this n into n plus 1 common okay now there is a plus sign over here what is left now in this 3 x to the power minus n is there okay please check 2 x to the power 2 times of x power n plus 1 plus 3 times of x power minus n 2 x power n plus 1 3 times of x power minus n isn't that simply y is that simply y so this answer y double derivative will be nothing but what this number n into n plus 1 times of y no because i can write this i can write this expression as simply y so my option will be what option a i know we had little less space to solve this question but i have tried to write all of it okay i hope you understand everything i hope you understand everything let me erase some extra parts so that it makes sense to you okay okay all right okay yes okay sir so if you want have a look okay what I did first, I took the function y, I took the function, if you want I can explain it again, okay, just for this question, just this function y, okay, derivative of the first one, same thing, we use the polynomial uh, de derivative, we got this result, okay, for the first term, n plus 1 will come here, minus 1, same goes over here also, we took the derivative again, then n, uh, this will was simply was n, so I took n here, and this became n minus 1, same goes over here, okay simplified it and made it plus made some adjustment took n plus n times of n plus 1 common okay then multiplied with x square x square okay then we got n plus uh, sorry then we took n in times of n plus 1 common we got same as y we wrote answer as n times of n plus y okay as a this given expression value okay i hope this is simple okay it's a good question asked in 2020 a good question okay so uh, don't worry you don't have to you know actually uh, see and write all the steps while you're doing the while we are doing the question you will get to visualize it after practice okay if you have solved a question like this no you will get to visualize this answer after the practice okay chali that in the in between steps only you will get to know the answer chali question number 13 question number 13 if a and b are fixed non zero constants then the derivative of a upon x power 4 minus b upon x square plus cos of x okay is what so what what take the derivative so they are saying that after you differentiate 
this term okay you're gonna get this term find the value of m n p so see you'll if you differentiate this term you'll get a m a n b minus p they're asking us to find what they're asking us to find m n n minus p okay m and n minus p Chali, let's see this so we'll take this function y equals to a upon x power 4 minus b upon x square plus cos x yes plus cos x okay so if you see here i can get simply if you check no answer i can get directly over here only okay so i cannot take this two correct now because if you differentiate the last term you will get what minus sin x and there is already a minus here it means p has to be positive check here if you differentiate this you will get what minus sin x right for the last term look at here minus p equal to minus sin x means what p equal to sin x so option 1 and 2 is only two po you know possible answers now if you uh, check here if you differentiate this you will get what if you see the first uh, this term also differentiate this term you are going to get what you're gonna get what a will be common you'll get x power minus 4 right so it'll become what minus 4 times of x power minus 4 minus 1 right how much is that going to be tell me i'm gonna get some term over here again and some term over here also okay uh, so i'm not doing entire uh, differentiation i'm asking you to just use the steps and get the answer this will be simply minus sin x how much is this please check minus 4a upon x to the power 5 differentiation of the second term and minus sin x no need to do it okay just look at the answer you don't have to do it in the paper also look in your in, look in your mind also only so please have a look minus sin x so obviously first two options are the only possible possible right why because minus p if you compare with minus sin x how much is that which are? it means p is sin x it implies p is sin x so that part is over that part is over now look at this compare this first derivative with this one or with you can compare with m also so compare this if you check here a is a constant so everything apart from a will be my m so all of this minus 4 upon x power 5 option b is correct yes or no so sometimes look the thing is the chapter this questions takes time to solve that's why the sessions is getting lengthier and lengthier okay but uh, in the examination what will happen no you will not have all the questions from continuity only okay so we have a mix of the questions all the uh, function will be there so see this question you don't have to write the steps think about it in your mind if you think how to approach this question so derivative of cos x is minus sin x so this is only sin p can be only sin derivative of this is uh, simply what uh, a times of minus 4 x power minus x power 5 so again the option number b is correct so b is my correct option okay Chali. Aage hai. have a look let's move on this question find uh, for this point whether it is what continuous and differentiable or not for continuity what we're going to do for continuity what we're going to do find the limits find this lhl equal to rhl equal to f of 1 right we're finding at 1 no so before one what is it this is before one right please understand this this is the lhl right before one condition is this what is my f of one anyway f of one is nothing but check here put here this there is equal to sign here please see this equal to sign is here it means this will be what one minus one so what is f of one zero f of one is zero find the lhl find lhl for lhl what i'm going to do limit again i have to do uh, h tends to uh, x tends to 1 from the negative side but does not matter there is not there is no indeterminate form here so i'm going to use what for this i'll use x minus 1 only if you put 1 what are you going to get simply 0 so lhl is also 0 okay what about rhl please check rhl again same thing i'll do limit x tends to 1 positive what's the function here 1 positive more than 1 more than 1 is what x cube minus 1 x cube minus 1 again put 1 here 1 cube minus 1 simply 0 so yes sir 0 equal to 0 okay so yes this is true means continuous is yes continuous is possible okay now what about uh, differentiability so i can find the lhd lhd or i can simply do this find the derivative also what is it going to be tell me please tell me this is going to be 3x square over here minus will be 0 minus 1 will be i differentiate this 3x square minus 1 is 0 over here simply 1 whatever is the condition 
not equal to just simply greater than 1 ok and less than infinity and x is from here to here. So, check here what is my LHD? LHD is 1. What is my RHD? RHD your bacha is 3. Are they equal? LHD is not equal to RHD. What is LHD? RHD sir? Left hand and right hand derivative. Okay. So, it means what is the answer? What is the answer? They are not equal to each other means non-differentiable. So, continuous but non-differentiable. Any option like this? Moving on. Question number 15. Y equals to cos x square the whole square find the derivative. Okay. Simple problem. Cos x square the whole square. What are we going to do? We have to use the chain rule over here. So, find this. dy by dx will be what, bachcha? Please check. It will be 2 cos x square first for this exponential sorry uh, for this polynomial function next comes what for the cos x square it will become what minus sin x square and next what we gonna do multiply for x square also you can get simply 2x I did for first this uh, polynomial function cos square the cos x square if I take this as t let's say it will be t square so I did 2t then I did for cos square cos x square as minus sin x square then I did for x square as 2x please check so, if you see here, what I am going to get, uh, I write it as, I will take this minus sign common, so means outside and write it as 2 times of x, okay, and 2 times of sin, sin x square and cos x square. How much is that? 2 sin a cos a, sin 2a, sin 2a. sin 2a yes or no 2 sin a cos a so sin 2a is the option like this because a is x square right so sin 2a option c option number c i hope all of you all of you must have gotten this answer right okay chaliye okay now derivative of this all right how will i solve this bachcha please have a look please have a look so if you see here I will have to differentiate individually. This is a constant, right? A power A is constant. So this will be 0. What about this? For this, I will have what? Simply A power X ln A. A power X ln A or log A. So, yes, sir, it is there in this option. Okay? It is there in this option. All right, sir. What about X power A? I will have X power A as A times of X power A minus 1. Now, check here a power x log a is there, a power of x a minus a 1 is there. If you want, you can take this b as a directly answer. If you want, take this b as directly answer, okay. From the derivative of the easier things, we got the answer as b. But I will show you the differentiation of the first one also. How will I do this? I differentiate this part. I am differentiating the first term, x power x. I can write this as differentiation of what e power log of x power x correct right now check this i can bring this log in front of i uh, bring this x in front of the log i'll get differentiation of what e power x log x yes or no yes if i differentiate that what i'm going to do i have to use the uh, first i have to use the uh, chain rule then i have to use product rule please check this so this will remain as it is e power x one second it's in the power only the log is in the power of e so e power x log x you have to use what I have to use what I have to use the uh, chain rule now I'll get what bacha? I'll get for e power x I'll get it as e power x only okay and log x will remain as it is sorry not x right not no e power x is done now I have what is my uh, chain rule applied to only x log x only x log x so I'll write it as uh, let's say x will be as it is log x will be 1 by x I do for x as 1 and log x will be as it is okay okay what i get e power x log x is how much tell me same thing as this function no x power x please see this i wrote x power x as x e power x log x so i can write this again as x power x how much is this goes out 1 plus ln x or log x please see this 1 plus ln x or log x what is my answer 1 plus log x times x power x this option is correct option b 
we don't have to do it we can get from the uh, this step also but if you want i have given solution for the first differentiation also okay simple enough moving on 16th is done 17th problem okay a uh, statement 1 and 2 is there let's see statement 1 and 2 if this is there differentiation of this is what log uh, is going to be this is not right this how is this right this will means 1 by x will come in down right log x differentiation is 1 by x so this is not correct this is not correct not correct okay this is not correct what about this what about the first one so uh, this is ln x right so this is correct this is okay log of this is simply log of a to the base okay uh, log of x to the base a differentiation of this is what 1 by a or 1 by x sorry 1 by x ln a right ln a what is the answer for differentiation of this let me explain it to you so differentiation this part is simple right this part is correct log of this is what ln x means what log of e means what please check here i will write it over here only so y equals to i can write it as log with the base 10 okay and this is simply what ln x differentiate this bacha why does only what bacha tell me here i get what 1 upon x ln x sorry ln e okay 1 upon x ln e okay not e ln a right so ln 10 i get ln 10 okay and this will be simply 1 by x okay ln a is the answer for this 1 by x ln 10 now how will i write this again please check so why does it be equal to please have a look i can write it as 1 upon x ln 10 means what it means log of 10 to the base e yes and the simply is 1 plus x i can take this up i you know that right you know this property log of a to base b is simply as 1 upon log of b to the base a so if i take this in the numerator reciprocal what i'm gonna get please check y dash equals to what log of 10 to the base e is there so i can write it as log of e to the base 10 upon x plus 1 by x is the same thing log of e to the base 10 yes statement one is true bacha so option number option a is correct see x log of 10 to the base e is there i can take reciprocal as log of e to the base 10 so option 1 is correct option 2 is wrong statement 2 is wrong question number 18 if the if the parametric form if the parametric equation of curve is given by x okay again x i have in this variable theta and y also is in this variable find d by by dx Okay, find the theta, find the all the points for which d by by dx is 0. Okay, means first thing is we have to find the differentiation. Okay, how will I find d by by dx? I will find d by by dx equals to d by by d theta upon dx by d theta. d by by d theta is very simple. So, let us do the dx by d theta first. I have done the differentiation two times, I think, in your class only, regular sessions, but let us do it anyway. So, I will get for what? For cos, I will get it as minus sin theta plus. For log, I will get what? 1 upon tan theta by 2. Now, I have to use chain rule. So, this will be what? Sec square theta by 2. Is it over, sir? Is it over? No, sir. I have to use for theta by 2 also. So, I will get what? Times of 1 by 2. Please have a look. I get what? Minus sin theta plus 1 upon, please check here, 2 is in the denominator, I can write it here 2 as it is, tan theta by 2 is over here, so I will write this as it is, sec square will come in down, denominator will become what, cos square, how, how sir, sec square reciprocal is what, cos, cos and sec are reciprocal to each other, so I can take sec in denominator as cos square theta, okay, theta by 2 actually, so let me write, write it over here, so what I have is dx by t theta, equals to minus sin theta okay plus 1 upon 2 times of i have tan theta by 2 right so if you remember this is tan theta by 2 so i can write it as i write in the next step no problem 
I write it as, please check. Two sine theta by two upon cos theta by two times what? Cos square theta by two. Yes, cancel this out. Cancel this out. One of them is gone. One of them is gone. Okay. Now what I have left? Minus sine theta plus one upon two sine theta by two cos theta by 2 see one of the square is of the cos is gone okay so i have cos sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 2 sin a cos b please check here 2 sin a cos b 2 sin a cos b how much is that simply sin 2 a sin 2 of theta by 2 will be what i wrote it as 2 sin a cos b okay it should be what it should be 2 sin a cos a. What is a in this? This will become what? Sin 2a. In this case, sin of 2 times of theta by 2. How much is that? Simply theta. So I can rewrite this as dx by d theta equals to minus sin theta plus 1 upon sin theta. Yes. How much is this? Minus sin square theta plus 1 upon sin theta. Simply I have taken LCM. How much is that? Please check here. Cos square theta upon sin theta. Yes. From the identity of the numerator, 1 minus sin square is? 1 minus sin square is cos square. Okay. What is my d by d theta? What is my d by by d theta? Please check here. Sin theta is there. Differentiation is what? Tell me from here. d by by d theta is what? Bacha? Simply cos theta. Differentiate sin theta? Simply get it as cos theta. How much is this? Simply cos theta, sir. Okay. Now, what I am looking for? d by by dx. How much is that going to be? Cos theta upon cos square theta by sin theta. This will go up. I can cancel one of this. I will get what? Sin theta upon cos theta. How much is this? Tan theta. Now, when is this? d by by dx 0 when tan theta is 0 tan theta is 0 means what theta will be 0 at what point only at 1 at n pi so if you see here at the multiples of pi any integral multiples of pi i will have tan as 0 so option number d remember this tan 0 tan pi tan 2 pi tan 3 pi any values tan minus pi all these values tan is 0 okay so n pi when n is a integer so integer i get answer as d option which is 0 okay which is 0 19 problem okay let's see this now i have y equals to x minus 1 the whole square times of x minus 2 the whole cube times of x minus 3 the whole power 5 okay find the differentiation of this and at x equals to 4 you have to find this value what is this going to be means first find the differentiation first find the derivative and then put the x as 4 in the derivative okay Chali. Kar lete hai. so if you see here i have to apply what product rule okay but i have to apply three times okay so i'll write this y derivative so first i'm going to differentiate the first term only i'll get it as two times of x minus one and for x i'll have one so i'll write the other terms as it is x minus 2 the whole cube x minus 3 the whole power 5 okay next i'll do the x minus 2 so plus i'll write uh, for this x minus 2 i'll get what 3 times of x minus 2 the whole square because i'm differentiating this part okay and what is the left out thing which i'm not doing anything with so x minus 1 the whole square and this is simply x minus 3 the whole power 5 yes or no yes now again one more plus sign please check so i'll i'll do for this part i'll get what 5 times of x minus 3 to the power 4 yes okay and how much is this please check the first two terms as it is x minus 1 the whole square x minus 2 the whole cube okay i hope this is simple yes 
Now in this derivative, I have to put what? x equals to 4. Put here. So 2 times of 4 minus 1 is 3. How much is this? 4 minus 2. 4 minus 2 is what? 2. 4 minus 2 is what? Tell me. Have a look. Have a look. 4 minus 2 is over here, right? So 2 the cube over here. 4 minus 1. 4 minus 3 is what? 1 the power 5. First term is done. Okay. Moving on. Second term. 3 as it is. 4 minus 2 is what? 2 again 2 the square. Okay. Check here. 4 minus 1. So 3 the square. And 4 minus 3. So 1 to the power 5. No problem here. Plus. Please check for the last term. 5 is there. So 5 times of 4 minus 3. So 1 to the power 4. Okay. Last two. This the two terms. So 4 minus 1 is what? 3. Again 3 is square. Okay, 3 square, please check, 3 square times of 4 minus 2, so 2 to the power 3, okay. Now, let us simplify this. How much is going to be, bachcha? Please have a look. Uh, how much is this? Please check. 2 times of 2, eight, this is 8, right? 16 times 3, 48. Please check. 2 times q, 2 cube is what? 8, 8 times 3 is, six, 8 times 2 is, 16 times uh, 3 is 48 plus. Have a look. How much is this? 9 times of 3, 27 and uh, times of 4, 108. Please have a look. 3, to 3 square is 9, 1 power 5 will be 1 only, no? 3 square is 9 times 4. So, uh, okay, 9 times 3, 27, 20 times uh, 2 square, so 4. How much is it? 108. Okay, yes. Last one, 5 times. So, please have a look. I will multiply this 5 with one of the 2 here. So, I get what? 10. So, what is left now? 2 square is left. So, 2 square times 9. 36. Please check. 3 square is 9. I have 2 square. I have split this in 2. 2 square times 2. Okay. 2 square times 2. So, 3 square into 2 square. How much is that? 36. And this is what? 2 times 5. So, 10. How much is this? 360. Okay. Please add this. Please add this. 8 plus 8 is 16 in hand 1. 6 plus 4 which is 10 in hand 1 is 11, 3 plus 1 is 4 in hand 1 is 15, sorry 5, answer is what? Answer is 516D, answer is 516 which is D, okay moving on, okay. 20th question, y equals to 1 plus x square tan inverse of x uh, minus x d by dx to find out, of. very simple question, simplest problem asked in 2020 again, okay. So, uh, take y derivative, if I do that, what I am going to get? I will do for this product rule. I will do for the first term only. Let us see. So, I will get 0 plus 2x. This as, as it is. Then I am going to do what? Keep this as it is. So, 1 plus x square as it is. And then I am going to do what? Differentiate tan inverse x. Will be what? 1 upon 1 plus x square. The last will be what? Simply minus 1. Please check here. Simply x is simply minus 1. So, I can cancel this and this, bacha. Yes or no? Yes. What I get, bacha? 2x tan inverse of x. How much is this? Plus 1 minus 1. Cancel this. How much is this? 2x tan inverse of x. This is my d by by dx. Answer is a. Answer is a. Simple. Very simple problem. Okay. So, uh, now moving to the AOD part. We have to apply the derivatives in the questions and see how will it span out. First question is coming from what? Rate of change of quantity. Rate of change of quantity. The side of an equilateral triangle are increasing at the rate of 4 cm per second. The rate at which? Okay, okay. First of all, equilateral triangle, right? All sides are equal. Okay. So, let us take the side to be A. Just saying that side is increasing. So, it means what? DA by DT. Why DT? Because second is there. So, 4 cm per second is my given data. The rate at which its area will increase when side is 14. They have given what? A is 14. They are asking us to find what? D of A by dt is how much. Find the A value first. What is my A value? Root 3 by 4 side square. Yes. Differentiate this please. So, dA by dt will be nothing but bacha. root 3 by 4 times of 2 times of a times of small d a d of a small a by d t 
can cancel over here. What I get? Root 3 by 2. What is my a value? 14. So, right here 14. And what, about, what is my da by dt? 4. So, right here. Four. Cancel this please. 14 times 2 is what? 28. What is my answer? 28 root 3 centimeter square per second, right? Why sir? Area change, you know? Area change. What is my answer? See, again in the question when they asked this, the option was I think incorrect, but I have made this change to get the right answer. 28 root 3 centimeter square per second, okay? 21 is done. Very simple problem. Moving on. 22nd, maximum value of log e power x, x. Okay, maximum value means what? I have to differentiate. Differentiate this please. What is the numerator? Uh, so, this is if I take like this, y equals to ln x upon x. How will I differentiate this? Quotient rule I can use. Okay, quotient rule I can use. So, I will write for the first one, I will get what? 1 by x and this x in the denominator will be as it is. For ln x, differentiation is 1 by x. Okay, minus sign, keep ln x as it is. Okay, and differentiate x. So, 1 divided by x square. This is my derivative, right? Okay. Now I want to find maxima, so I will put derivative as 0. I want to find maxima, right? I put derivative as 0. What I am going to get, please check. I will get this as simply 1 minus ln x. Yes or no? I get what? ln x equals to 1. When is ln x 1? When is ln x 1? What is ln x means? It means log of x to the base e. When is this 1? When simply x is e. Yes or no? When simply x is e. Now put in the question. Function you put. So y equals to log of e to the power, sorry, e to the base e, log of e with the base e and upon e. What's the numerator? Log e, log e of e with the base e. Simply 1, 1 upon e. Answer is what? B. B. Very simple question. Okay, moving on. So I told you know AOD will not have complicated differentiations. But yes, continuity and differentiality will be having some good questions. But not all of them. Okay, not all of them. If the size of a cube is increased by 5%, okay, what it means? It means the new side is going to be what? Uh, if you take the change, dA by dt, side is what? Cube means what side? I can take it as A, right? So, dA by dt is what, bicha? 5% of the side length A. I can write it as uh, 5 by 100 of a simply 0 0.05 a is my dA by dt. Yes or no? Then the surface area of the cube. What is the surface area of the cube? Take the surface area as s. So I can write it as 6a square. They are asking the change of this. So differentiate it. ds by dt I am going to do again. What I am going to get please check here. Uh, 12 a dA by dt or not? Yes, right here please, 12 a dA by dt. So, if I write this 12 a, okay, 12 a dA by dt. So, 12 times of a, how much is this? 0 0.05 a, a value is not given, right? Because they are not asking us, you know, any value, they are asking us the percentage, right? So, I do not have to find the value here, only percentage they are asking us to find. Please multiply this, what are you going to get? So, if you take this as 100 denominator, you are going to get 60 by 100 a square, right? 12 times 5 is 60, a times a is a square, okay? What is this? Please check. This is ds by dt, ds by dt. So, I can write this as 10 by 100 times of 6 a square or not. Please check. I have moved the 6 with a square, I got it as 6 a square and the 0 as it is with 10. So, 10 by 100 will be, if you multiply it back, you will get what? 60 only, you know, 10 in times 6 is 60. So, 10 by 100 is what? 10 percent I can write, 10 percent, 10 by 100 is what? 10 percent and what is 6 a square of the surface area? So, what is the change here? 10 percent of the surface area. Option number D is correct, okay? Option number D is that A confuses, no, for the option. So, option D is correct, 10 percent, okay. This is simple. Moving on to 24th question. A particle starts from rest and its angular displacement is this, okay. Angular velocity uh, at the end of time t equal to 4 is k. Now, they are saying that angular velocity means what? d theta by dt is actually equal to what? 
k at what time when t t equals to 4 for time equals to 4 value equals to 4 I get this speed or angular uh, speed or angular velocity is k find the differentiation please so theta is equals to what t square by 20 plus t by 5 differentiate it what I get 1 by 20 times what 2t plus 1 by 5 yes or no cancel this bacha 10 how much is this so uh, t by 10 plus 1 by 5 yes okay now uh, this is equal to what at 5 how much is this please tell me uh, how much is the value at 4 right at 4 they are asking so I will put t as 4 please check so, d theta by dt when t equals to 4 will be what bacha tell me 4 by 10 plus 1 by 5 4 by 10 is what 4 by 10 is 0 0.4 okay okay 0 0.4 and what is 1 by 5 0 0.2 how much is that 0 0.6 0 0.6 okay what is this value 0 0.6 okay they are saying this is 0 0.6 it means what k is what k is 0 0.6 now let's read the question value of 5k 5 times of 0 0.6 what is 5k 3 answer is okay answer is d simple problem very very simple 25th problem uh, function fx equals to x square minus 2x strictly decreasing in the interval so we can see one trend here that the questions in AOD are much much simpler and much much time you know you know what do you call uh, we don't need that much time to solve this question we don't even use the we don't, we don't even need to, need to use the paper also we can think in the mind and get the answer okay so uh, we can plan our work easier that way so first try to do whenever we are solving the paper in the mock I try to solve these questions first okay save some time gain some confidence then solve the other question okay Chali. the function fx equals to so let's write this function y equals to what x square minus 2x I want an interval so I mean so I want, what is the first step uh, 2x minus 2 put it equal to 0 I get critical point as x equals to 1 first step is derivative second step is identify critical point critical point is 1 on the right of 1 please check here on the right of 1 it will come let us say I take 2 2 times 2 will be 4 4 minus 2 is positive before 1 take 0 2 minus times 0 is what 0, 0 minus 2 is negative. I want what? Decreasing I want. What is the interval? Minus infinity to minus 1. Minus infinity to plus 1. Both open. Why both open, sir? Strictly decreasing, they are saying. Strictly decreasing. Okay. Achha, this option is same. Please see this. C and D are the same option. So, I have taken R minus 0. R minus 0. Okay. To make the differentiation over here. A minus infinity to, minus, uh, to 1, option number A. Okay. Simple enough. See such a simple question asked in 2021. Okay, differentiate it, find the critical points, put on the number line, take the trend by uh, check the trend by putting the value of x as more than one, less than one. Uh, then uh, what is the de uh, decreasing means? Decreasing function means when the f of f dash of x is less than zero. Less than zero means negative. So this is decreasing, and this is increasing. Yes. So what is the uh, interval? Mass infinity to one. Mass infinity to one. Option number A. 26 problem. The maximum, the maximum slope of the curve y equal to this. Now, this is a very good question. Very, very simple, but very good question. Because what will happen now? Nah? We have learned to only find derivatives. Okay. So, we will just quickly do this. Y dash here is what? Minus 3x square plus 6x plus 2. Okay. So, I have to maximize this. Find a second derivative and put it equal to 0. No, bacha, please have a look. This is now my new function. This is my new function actually, new function. What is the function? Slope function. Please have a look. They are asking us to find the maximum of slope. Is this the slope right now? Is it a slope? No sir. So what is the slope? Slope is a derivative function. So once I find the derivative, this is my new function. So I can write this as m, another function m. m is the slope given by this thing, dx square plus 6x plus 2. Now, our goal is to maximize this value. Okay. So, how will I maximize this value? Okay. Minus 3x square actually. Minus 3x square. Okay. 
How will I maximize this? First find this value dm by dx. How much I get? Minus 6x plus 6. Okay. Okay, this is 0. Now put this equal to 0 now to find the critical point. What I get? x as? x as 1. If you put x equal to 1, it will be 0. Okay. This is my only critical point. Okay. Now, sir, is it enough? Okay. Please check. Is this point of maxima? I have to differentiate this function, bacha. d square of m upon dx square. Sir, isn't this the third derivative? No. Because after the first derivative, we got the function only, no? We got a function only after the first derivative. So, this is actually my second derivative, not third derivative. So, if I do that, what I'm going to get? Please check. Third derivative of the y, but second derivative of the function m. I'm talking with respect to the function m, the slope function which is given by mx. Slope function is mx, okay? What I'm going to get? Minus 6, sir. Isn't that less than 0? Yes, sir, it's less than 0. Less than 0 means what? Maxima, sir. If second derivative of the function m is less than 0 means the m is maximum, okay, maxima at that particular point. Okay, chaliye. x equals to minus 1. x equals to 1 you put here. Put in the function x equals to minus 1. Will you put here? No, will you will put here, sir. You will put in this function. Okay, so now you are finding m of 1. How much you going to get? Minus 3, 1 square, 6 times of 1 and plus 2. How much is this? Please check. This is minus 3 plus 8. How much is this? Plus 5. So, two mistakes to avoid here. First of all, the slope function will come after differentiation. Once you get the critical point, check for the point of maximum minima, but not from here. From here, you have to check. Okay. Second, one more thing. x equal to 1, you will not put in the original function y. You will put in the slope function. Why they are asking? Because they are asking us maximum slope value. They are not asking us maximum of this function. They are asking us maximum slope value. So, once you found the slope function, no? So, put this x equals to 1 in the slope function. Answer is 5, option number C. 26th question. Simple, but still, you know, you have to apply your brain to solve this question. Okay, over this. You can do this. Quotient rule is over here. Okay. You will do for log over here. Okay. But I will tell you, look at the options. Can log take a negative answer? Can log be, if I am dividing, let us say, log x to the base a. What is the first thing? x has to be greater than 0. Take the first option. In this, I can take minus 5. In this, I can take, this is what? All real number, no? I can take minus 5. Log of 1 minus 5 is what? Minus 4, not defined. So This is not there. This option cannot be true. Option A cannot be true. What about option B? Yes, sir. Option B is correct answer. But let's see the C and D right now. This also will have a negative number, big number. I can take that. Let's say I take minus 5 again. Okay, where I can take minus 5, no? Will not be possible. Over here also I can take minus 5, not possible. So I can take a big negative number more than, anything more than minus 1 will be, even minus 1 is not true. I cannot find the log of 0 also, right? So even minus 1 is not true. So I have to find what? A number starting from minus 1 and all positive. What is that? Option B. Option B. So infinity. So option B is correct answer. You don't have to solve anything. Just look at the answer and get the result. What is the answer? Because log, this function will not be defined. So, how will the maxima, or in, how will you find the trend only? So, whether it is increasing, decreasing, find the derivative for that. But the function has to be defined in that domain. No, domain is only true what? B. Option B is correct answer. Option B is correct answer. Moving on. Chali. Question number 28. I hope all of you got the previous one right. Okay. Simplest question ever. Just looking at the domain. Do not forget about domain. Doing all the, you know, rules and properties. Don't forget the most important part. Domain is very, very important bacha. We are, we are over, you know, now to end this session. Let's see the last few questions, 28, 29 to 30. We have three questions left. Okay, chali. Function strictly, we have to check the trend, decreasing, increasing. How we do that? Derivative, sir, of course. Find derivative. Y, y dash will be what, bacha? 12, please check, 12, sin square x cos x. Yes, 12 sin square x cos x. What about this? Minus 12 sin x. Again, what? Cos x. And over here, plus 12 cos x. Over here, what? Simply 0. Something is common, yes or no? Yes, sir. Take 12 cos x common. What's left here? Sin square x in the first term. Over here, minus sin x. Over here, plus 1. 0 is so. Now, we do not have to consider that. 
let me rearrange it and you will see from here. I will write it as sin square x and this has 1 minus sin x. I am clubbing these two together. Now you check here. Please have a look. This is positive, always positive. Square of anything, anything is positive. Now over here, this can maximum become what? This can, sin x can become 1 at maximum. If it becomes 1, it will be 1 minus 1, which is how much? 1 minus 1 will be what? 0. If you take any other number, if you take minus 1 also, it will become 1 minus 1. So, sin x I can take, let us say, maximum value is 1. Sin x maximum value is 1 and minimum value is minus 1. If you take the maximum value, it will become what? 1 minus 1, so 0. If you take minus 1, it will become what? 1 minus of minus 1, so 2. This is a positive number. Sin square x is a positive number. So, this whole thing will either be 0 or positive. Now, if you add 0 to positive number, will be what? Will be what? Again, positive number. If you add 2 to positive number, again positive number. So, basically, this whole bracket is what? Completely always positive. It is always positive. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. This is positive. Now, I want to check the trend. So, trend will be decided from where? 12 cos x only. Na? Please check. So, what I am saying is, I can write this y derivative as 12 cos x times of a positive number. So, if this 12 cos x is negative, the trend is negative. Okay. If this 12 cos x is positive, the whole thing is positive. So, what I am trying to say here is, please have a look. I got y derivative as 12 cos x multiplied with a positive number. So, why positive? Why not write entire thing? Because I, do, I need to check the trend, right? Decreasing increasing one means what? Trend. So, check here. Positive, this is positive means the trend will depend upon 12 cos x. So, if 12 cos x is positive, if 12 cos x is what? Positive. It means what? Y dash will be positive. And when is 12 cos x positive? When what? Cos x is positive, bachcha. Yes or no? Same way. If cos x is what? Negative. If cos x is negative, what I will have? I will have 12 cos x also as negative. And this means what? Derivative will also be less than 0. This is greater than 0. Greater than 0 means increasing, less than 0 means decreasing. Now, let us check the options. Decreasing. Uh, so, basically, all has come to the nature of cos x. Nature of cos x. Correct? Understand this. This is positive. 12 cos x is there. 12 is a positive number. Cos x is positive means this is positive. So, it means derivative is positive. Cos x is negative means this is negative. So, derivative is negative. Okay? Check the cos x graph. Check the cos x. What is the domain they are asking for? Minus pi by 2, 2 maximum value is pi only, right? Pi. Anything more than pi? No, sir. Yeah, 3 pi by 2 is also there. Okay? So, minus pi will be what? No, minus pi by 2, right? Minus pi by 2 will be what? Please check here. Minus pi by 2 will be uh, like this. Is it right? This is minus pi by 2. This is 0. This is pi by 2. This is what? Pi. And this is what? 3 pi by 2. Now, check the trend now. Check the trend, bachcha. So, uh, if you check, minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. Minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. It is increasing. Is it increasing all the time? But it is positive, right? Don't it increasing? From here to here, is it positive or not? Yes, sir, positive. Okay. Positive means increasing. But what is the option here? Decreasing. Please understand this. From here to here, in this domain, if cos x is always positive, right? Don't check the trend here. Only check the value above the y-axis. So, positive, sir. Positive means what? Increasing. See, positive means increasing. And negative means decreasing. Right? So, from in this interval, it is more than 0. So, increasing. But the option says decreasing. So, this cannot be true. Option number B, increasing pi to pi, 3 pi by 2. Pi 2 from here to here. What is the value? Less than 0. Less than 0 means decreasing. What is the option saying? Increasing. So, not possible. Decreasing in 0 to pi by 2. 0 to pi by 2. Over here, what is the value? Greater than 0. Greater than 0 means positive. Pos so, yeah, it is positive. Means what? Increasing. What is the option say? Decreasing. 3 is also not right. Check the fourth option. Decreasing in pi by 2 to pi. 
pi by 2 to pi, where is it? Pi by 2 to pi is this, this right? This value. What is this value over here? Less than 0, please check. In this pi by 2 to pi, this what in this interval pi by 2 to pi, cos x is negative. Negative means what? Decreasing. Is the option saying decreasing? Decreasing, sir. So, option number D is correct. Now, you got it. After finding the derivative, very, very good question. After finding the derivative, we got to know that the sign of this function, the derivative depends upon what? Only the 12 cos x. 12 is a number, constant number. So, means it will depend upon only cos x. So, we drew the graph for the domain that they have given. Okay, from minus pi by 2, the minimum value to the maximum value is 3 pi by 2. I drew the graph for that particular value. In that given intervals for each option, I checked, I got my option t as correct, decreasing in pi by 2 to pi. Please check pi by 2 to pi in this interval, very small interval, pi by 2 to pi. What is the cos value? Negative. Negative means, derivative is negative means what? Decreasing in nature. So, option number d is correct. Okay. Moving on to 29th. Trigonometric function y equal to tan x. Second quadrant. Are, this is the simplest question ever. Second quadrant means what? What angle? Second quadrant means what, sir? Pi by 2, 2. Pi, right? Correct? Draw tan. X ka graph. This is what? Uh, this is 0. This is minus pi by 2. And this is what? This is pi by 2. Okay? And how will this graph look like? Again, over here. This value is what? This value is pi. Check here. The trigonometric function has what? Decreases and increases trend will check. From which quadrant? Second quadrant. Second quadrant, what is the angle? The angle is pi by 2, 2 pi. Yes or no? Yes. It's not closed, bacha. It's open. It's open, okay? We have to check the open only. Why open, sir? Because there is undefined part present there. So, we'll take it as open only. Please check, okay? So, starts pi by 2. What is the pi by 2 value for tan? Negative infinity, please check. Sir, it is positive infinity. No. If you take from the left hand side, because we are going from this side, right? We are going after pi by 2, okay? So, if you do that, okay? If you do that, what are you going to get? Minus infinity. At pi, what is this? 0. So, what is the answer? Okay? Increases from, this is increasing, right? Negative infinity to 0. So, option number D. Please check here. Increasing from negative infinity to 0. It's increasing or decreasing? Increasing, sir. From here to here. Negative infinity to 0, what is that happening, sir? It's increasing, sir. It is increasing. So, option number D is correct from the graph. Okay. Last one of the day. Last one of your KPL4, sir. Again, rate of change of quantity. Very, very simple. No, actually, so this question is given to confuse you. I'll show you how. A circular plate of radius, 5 centimeter they have given. Also, Radius is 5.2 centimeter. Sir, which one to take? Read the question. A circular plate of radius 5 centimeter is heated. Plate is there. You heat means what? It will expand. Anything you heat will what? The, uh, the it will expansion will be there. The, the molecules will go apart, apart like this. So, molecules will go apart means expansion is happening. So, it expands. Due to expansion, its radius is increasing. Okay, at rate. So, they are saying that dr by dt bacha is what? 0 0.05 centimeters per second, centimeters per second. The rate at which its area is increasing, they are asking us dA by dt, okay, when the radius is 5.2, means I will not consider, means in the beginning it was 5, but because of heating, no, what happened was, what happened was, this plate has already expanded to this condition, because of the heating, okay. So, for that reason, we will we'll talk about the current condition, okay. So, let us see the area, area formula. Area is pi r square. What is my dA by dt, bacha? dA by dt will be 2 pi r dr by dt. How much is that? 2 pi, what is r, bacha? 5.2 will take. The current situation, what is dr by dt? 0 0.05. Okay. How much is that? Please check. Uh, please check here. 100 I have here and this is again 10, okay. So, I get 5 times 2, 5 times 2, 10 is gone, okay. I have 5, 52 pi, I have what? 52 pi by 100, how much is that? 0.52 pi, 0.52 pi, any option like this? See, 
0.5 to pi centimeter square per second because area change okay so this completes your solution for your kpl4 which was on continuity and reflexibility and aod if there are more questions on continuity reflexibility which is left okay i will put in the next mock also okay so make sure that i am trying to solve all the questions in your pyqs in the mocks and i am coming for the pyq session also okay so we'll try to solve and i as i got in uh, as i got to know the demand of yours in your uh, live session that we had okay there was uh, saying that people were saying that sir more practice of the questions in calculus so what i'm going to do now i'm going to take sessions only on the question solving so i'll take let's say 12 questions i'll take 15 questions i'll take 10 questions i'll take no concept only problem solving okay so in the integration that we are doing right now we'll solve only questions if you want more practice in the other chapters also comment comment in this video comment in our in the ongoing series videos okay but sir i want to solve more and more questions in this particular chapter i will take another session in that uh, and take some questions from the chapter and solve it again okay so just i want to have this commitment and this you know uh, this point that you are also interacting with me you are also you know like involved in the session so then i will come up with these you know uh, extra videos to solve your questions again so but yes certainly i will solve more questions in integration uh, so i'll take sessions only for question solving okay so i hope this is okay i hope you got all very good marks this this test was uh, i would rate moderate to difficult okay it was not a easy test because first of all lengthy paper lengthy paper because of uh, the chapter itself lot of differentiation is there i have to explain lot of things so paper is lengthier this one particularly again one more thing uh, what can you do you have to solve this questions okay you have to learn this again remember this, this is half pace we have to go faster than this okay you have to solve faster than this so make us you know whenever you are solving a paper time yourself and start solving the question you know in that limited time in that limited time you solve the paper and then you can you know uh, see how much you are performing you have to start working under pressure only so with this i would like to conclude the session i'll see you in the next session for that time keep working hard keep positive around you take care bye bye